Hi guys, I am Dr. Mohammad Usman and today we will be talking about digital forensics and search warrant and photography. So basically in today's video we will be talking about what is the basic of search warrant and what is the basic of forensic photography. So when we are talking about search warrant, uh, I have already told uh, many times before like you need to acquire search warrant for the investigation. If you are going to any location or any incident must take the search warrant from the court. The search warrant can be issued for companies, room, devices, car, houses or property. And uh, you can search, uh, uh, carry out the search on the premises of the investigation or you can uh, do the search over the lab. But basically for everything you need to have a search warrant and you need to have a permission from the court to carry out anything. So search warrant is the basic requirement when you are carrying out your investigation. And many times we forget that we need search warrant and this creates a lot of problem next thing is that forensic photography so basically when we are talking about taking pictures on on the investigation scene or investigation incident we surely need some kind of pictures nowadays we have digital cameras and we can easily take pictures and uh, it will help you in the investigation process because most of the time many things are lost from the uh, eye of the investigation and when you uh, see the pictures uh, you can put the different things and you can again go to the incident scene and carry out those things and you have to label all the pictures according to your investigation method and you will photograph evidence after labeling so one thing when you will take the picture then you will label that picture and you will again take that picture after the labeling so it will make you uh, very easy to transfer edit or modify your images or to share your images if the uh, next investigation team is sitting in another country and it also aims to increase the speed of the investigation per, uh, process so i will always recommend that you should have a digital camera with you and you will should be able to take different images of the in incident scene so that you uh, you can verify in the court that this thing was at this place because many time when you visit the uh, investigation scene or the incident and after that the company blames you that you have taken this item and uh, this item wasn't at this place and you can uh, and this is out of the process or out of the organization so your uh, picture will help you to prove your concept in the court and it will also help you on a different perspective level so uh, this video was up to here and today we talked about digital forensics uh, different perspectives and digital forensics uh, different search warrant and forensic photography so uh, like and subscribe to my video and share to other people thank you